Welcome to Danner, located here in Muncie, Indiana. We're home of the mobile power station, which is really the first all-electric uh, commercial industrial work vehicle. I want to, I'm Gary Danner, and I'd like to give you a little background and introduction to the company and the product, the mobile power station. We started about 10 years ago, and by 2011, we had our first commercial concept vehicle. And I say commercial concept because we were utilizing all commercial off-the-shelf components, an entirely new concept, a new configuration. We knew this day would, begin, would get here in 2021 because those of us that work with large commercial off-road fleets have been watching these pieces of equipment come outdated over the years. It needs a different tool for the future. And what that tool looks like is all electric and a very universal configurable platform that can do lots of work. The reason we chose this design is over 20 years ago, some of our best manufacturers, Caterpillar and John Deere and Case and Ford, they all started making attachments and work tools that actually do the work, the trenching, the plowing, the snow blowing, we made sure our machine would receive all 250 plus work tools that are coming from those major manufacturers like Caterpillar. And that this has high utilization because we always can put the right attachment on the vehicle. So to summarize very quickly, outdated single purpose machines going back a hundred years, it was the right tool once upon a time. The future is looking for one platform that's all electric, highly configurable, that takes advantage of these work tools that let, that let you make sure this is always the right configuration going forward. It's a very strong case for a business, but it's a great case for a fleet manager that doesn't want to have a penalty or a compromise as they move to electricity. By using commercial off-the-shelf components all the way through, uh, you do not pay extra. You don't have a price penalty for that. And there's really no compromise. Um, the batteries are part of that. We're utilizing EV batteries that are in trucks, in buses, in cars, commercial off-the-shelf batteries, 10-year life. So excellent safety and durability uh, components all the way through the vehicle. The performance, no compromise. In fact, in many cases, the performance actually increases. These hydro hydraulic work tools, mechanical work tools that have been well engineered, that have been designed to work with diesel equipment, what we're finding is those same attachments when you put them on a mobile power station, our customers are telling us the attachments actually work better. And that's because electricity is not weak. Electricity is very powerful, very controllable, and it will run those attachments and those systems very efficiently. It's not about just work, though. To quickly say that electric work vehicles can now export electricity. 250 kilowatts below the deck, another 250 above. That type of a configuration means 500 kilowatts can deliver electricity from here to there. So whether the vehicle is looked at as a work vehicle or a distributed energy resource vehicle to deliver energy, we hit all of the criteria. We cover it from work all the way to power and everything in between. And that's up to the fleet manager to decide how much work, how much power, and how much in between. The exciting thing about the fleet manager is they know their needs and they may want to use the machine in a way that's not even available in the marketplace. But with 250 attachments to choose from that are available from big world manufacturers, you can create a vehicle that doesn't even exist, but it, it fits your needs. So um, what is common? 13,000 pounds, it fits in a parking space, it fits on the same truck and trailer that your backhoe fits on, goes down the street, same 25 miles an hour. What's different? Tremendous powertrain power, tractive effort, 600,000 pounds of towing force, electric zero emissions all day long. Thank you.